as you have already seen the third development flight of SSLV, SSLV D3 with the EO08 satellite has been successfully accomplished. The rocket has space, placed the spacecraft in the very precise orbit as planned. I find that there are no deviations in the injection conditions. Uh, the final orbit, of course, will be known after tracking, but uh, the current indication is that everything is perfect. Uh, the EOS-08 satellite as well as SR-0 satellite also has been injected after the maneuvers. And uh, congratulations to the SSLV D3 team, the project team. With this uh, third development flight of SSLV, we can declare the development process of SSLV is completed. And congratulations now. So we are on the process of transfer of the technology of SSLV to industries and for serial production and launches of SSLV in a commercial basis. So it's a great beginning for the rocket, the small satellite launch vehicle. And for us, uh, the payload on this mission was a EOA-08 satellite, which all of you are aware it has an experimental satellite designed and realized by ISRO for proving many technologies, including very important payloads. And I am hoping that all of this will be proven in due course of time. As I am aware, the satellite uh, solar panels have already been deployed. <laughs> Further, we are looking for certain activities in the, PS, uh, the VTM stage. And uh, all that will be completed in due course of time. So congratulations once again for the entire team who walked behind the scene to develop this SSLV rocket. The, and its uh, culmination of development program. Uh, let us give a big round of applause to the entire team. <clears throat> I hand over uh, now to the mission director, Sri Vinod. Good morning to all. Good morning, ISRO. Good morning, India. Today we have achieved a major milestone in the journey of SSLV. The last and final development flight of SSLV D3 has been successfully accomplished. With that, we are moving into the operational phase. Today, we have precisely injected the EOS-08 satellite and also the passenger payload SR-0 into the precise orbit. The efforts put in by one and all has resulted in this achievement. Let me take this opportunity to thank the people who were behind this especially the management who had the confidence and trust in us to hand over the development of the new launch vehicle to his team, a new team which was able to achieve the targeted launch of D1, D2 and D3 in the specified time frame. Especially we thank the management led by our beloved chairman, Dr. Somnath, who has been part and partner of this uh, SSLV and also has been behind uh, as in realizing the system. During the realization of D3 system, the confidence for going ahead with the activities have been given by our review team. The confidence given by the flight readiness review team, the mission readiness review team and also the expert, eminent expert review team has given us enough confidence to go ahead with the realization of the system without much non conformances and achieving this. Tremendous effort has been put by all the ISRO centers, people working in all the ISRO centers, and their dedication and the passion has resulted in this today's achievement. The URSC team led by Avinash has realized a satellite which is having very new technologies incorporated in this and also advanced payload from SAC. I thank them for achieving this and also realizing a satellite in a very short frame, time frame. Let me thank my team, the small satellite core project team, ably marshaled by the vehicle director, Sri Edil Arashu. So I thank him for the support he has given during this time and also to the entire core team, which has what toiled day and night to achieve this. Now that the development phase of SSLV is over, the next phase of the ISRO's workhorse, the next workhorse will come in soon. We are definite that there will be many more launches of SSLV soon, and we will meet at that time. Thank you, and Jai Hind.
Thank you. I take this opportunity once again. Those who are behind me, uh, you are not able to see all of them in the cameras, are the young team who have been working in the last few years to develop the SSLV. Congratulations to once again. And all the people who have been supporting this program all across the centers, all people are not here on the stage, uh, and also the industries who have taken the responsibility to manufacture the, all the rocket parts and systems and who will possibly will be taking up this task of realizing it in numbers in the future. So congratulations to all of you once again. And now over to the uh, spacecraft director, Avinash. Good morning. Uh, respected chairman, sir, center directors, my senior colleagues, my teammates, and friends. Uh, first of all, to begin with, I would like to thank the SSLV team for precisely uh, placing the spacecraft in intended orbit. And I am happy that uh, solar panels are deployed and power is being generated. Uh, EOS-08 is a very unique uh, spacecraft where we have uh, many new technologies, uh, including uh, flexible solar panels, integrated avionics, embedded multifunctional uh, structural panels. Uh, these are to name a few. We have more than 20 uh, new technologies which we are demonstrating through uh, EOS-08. And we have three uh, very new payloads. One is the infrared payload uh, UIR from SAC, which will uh, give us the imaging capability in day and night, and also help us in uh, um, disaster management, etc. And we have a new type of remote sensing that is uh, GNSSR reflectometry. Uh, this again uses the GNSS signals to bring out the remote sensing data products in areas like soil moisture and ocean wind monitoring, etc. And we also have a UV dosimeter, uh, which is uh, to be flown on a Gaganyaan mission, but we are flying it here uh, to get the on-orbit experience. So th to these payloads will have applications uh, which will not only change or influence the common man, but will also help the astronauts on Gaganyaan. So with so many new technologies in a such a short time, we are able to realize this because of the support and guidance from all our management team and the real efforts put in by the Microsat 2C or EOS 08 team. So I would like to take this opportunity to thank our uh, center director, Sankaran sir, uh, for guiding us throughout the program. And I also thank the uh, total EOS uh, 08 team, starting from subsystems, the whole URSC center and different centers, LPSC, IASU, SAC, LEOS, have contributed different systems. And we have uh, come out with a good spacecraft. And at the end, this is possible only because of our families taking up our responsibilities at home when we are dedicating our time in the office. So I also thank personally to family members of all my teammates and my family as well for being with us in this crucial last one year period. And also my core project team uh, who have put uh, total efforts to realize this. Thank you. Thank you one and all. Jai Hind. Thank you, Avinash. Uh, this uh, satellite also have uh, three important payloads as told by him. Uh, the uh, infrared imaging s payload, the GNSR reflectometry payload, as well as the dosimeters. And, all, and the first two well were developed by Space Application Center Ahmedabad, and the dosimeter payload was developed at a laboratory for electro optic systems. So congratulations to all of them for those developments. And I hope the, all the very best to the satellite EOS-08. And we have today with us all the directors of the centers and the leaderships that you have reviewed and cleared this rocket. So I'm not moving over to them for comments at this moment. So are all seen to you. Congratulations to you once again. And thank you all the very best. And till we meet for the next launch, uh, bye from Sadir Savan Space Center, Speaker Thank you.